Avengers Endgame is a once-in-a-generation event and is now shattering box office records around the world. Hang on! <laughs> Avengers Endgame, rated PG-13, now playing. The world will never be the same. Avengers Endgame is shattering records across the globe. Part of the journey. It's the end. Be a part of cinematic history. Avengers! Assemble. Avengers Endgame, now playing. What is good YouTube, Warstu here with a video on Thor's future in the MCU. So Thor is the most powerful Avenger. Well, at least he was before Endgame, but that's not to worry because Thor will rise again. He will be reborn post Endgame. So Thor killed Thanos, you know? Well, the original Thanos, you know, the one that got killed right at the start of the movie. So Thor did learn from his mistake in Infinity War when he didn't go for the head. This time he did go for the head. So guys, if you are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe to never miss any of the videos. We are currently doing a ticket giveaway for Spider-Man Far From Home, which is coming out pretty soon, to be honest. It's coming out on the 2nd of July, worldwide, China, the week before. So we are only three weeks away from the release tomorrow, which is pretty cool. So all you got to do is subscribe to the channel, let me know down below. Why is Thor your favorite Avenger? Because let's be honest, Thor is most people favorite Avenger. So in terms of character development that they set up post Endgame, the only character that really got major development in Endgame was Thor. Thor went from the god body, the like the, the ripped abs, the, the 17 inch arms. He looks hella a beast. And then once Thanos was defeated, he essentially turned into an average person, got a beer gut, and played one of the worst games in the video game industry ever being Fortnite. Yeah, I know that game's tragic. So essentially him and Korg were playing against new Master 69, who actually is Deadpool, if you don't know. Like, that's who he actually is. So he went on that. Then towards the end of Endgame, he turned back into the god he is and he got a Viking beard, which was pretty cool. But even though it during Endgame, they depowered Hulk, they depowered Thor, they depowered literally everyone in this movie to make... 2012 version of Thanos appeared to be stronger. The ending scene was quite pinnacle. So As Guardians of the Galaxy is actually a comic book. Yes, I might not be the biggest comic book reader on this channel, but I never have quoted to be it a big comic book reader. This is a Marvel DC based channel. If I need to know something, I would do research. So the As Guardians of the Galaxy is a comic book, but I don't think James Gunn's Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3 will be called As Guardians of 3. But Thor is going to be in it. That is for sure. Why else would he be in the post credit scene? Why else would he be in the ending scene with the Guardians of the Galaxy? Now, what is interesting is Chris Hemsworth did renew his contract courtesy and before Infinity War. So he's renewed it for Infinity War, Endgame, and movies going forward. He has put himself in the 15 to 20 million dollars bracket, which is awesome. So there is rumors going around that Thor 4 is being discussed alongside Ant-Man 3, which it, it, it's, it makes sense because Ant-Man 1 was really good, Ant-Man 2 was okay, Thor 3 was freaking insane. Now, according to recent rumors, there will be a fourth Thor movie, which does make sense. That's why you guys should be excited. Tiger Watigi, who directed Thor 3, is most likely going to be involved. The rumor doesn't really state much information, but we've already heard from Tessa Thompson, who plays Valkyrie, that there are rumors of a fourth Thor movie anyway. And the fact that Chris Hemsworth has also said that he wants to continue with the role is fantastic. So there's no reason to be annoyed with the character that we got in Avengers Endgame. The movie was never going to be about Thor. He did have a really strong point. And Thor in the movie, he knew that Loki was not dead. Yes, he was acting depressed, but he said in Infinity War, well, at least he's dead for now. So he knows that Loki is not gone forever. And also he was told by his mother Frigga that he needs to go on a diet and could do with some salads. And he grew a really fantastic beard. So you should be very excited for the prospects of the next Thor movie. 
and Gardens of the Galaxy Volume 3, which will not start shooting for a while yet. But it is interesting because as we know, Beta Ray Bill has been teased since the very first Gardens of the Galaxy movie. A lot of people seem to have missed this, I guess you could call it Easter egg. So whilst in the collector's room, in Guns of the Galaxy Volume 1, we've seen something that referenced Beta Ray Bill on display. There was a body that referenced his armor, his suit, his clothing, so to speak, but no head. It hasn't been confirmed that that was a wink to Beta Ray Bill, but it was. And then, again, in Thor 3, the champions that are outside of Takar. So the previous champions were Beta Ray Bill, Man Thing, Ares, not to be confused with Ares from the DCEU, the Wonder Woman movie, not to be confused with that one, by Beast, and obviously the Hulk. So Beta Ray Bill is a past champion of Sakaar. That is why he's already been introduced into the MCU. And it, it is pretty obvious that there are plans to include Beta Ray Bill and uh, even or in Thor 4 or as Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3 alongside the Cocoon, alongside the Adam Warlock teaser that we have had. There's been rumors that literally everyone under the sun is being cast into this movie being Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3. Zac Efron is literally being cast as so many different people. Adam Warlock, also Johnny Storm. He's being fan casted in so many different roles. It is interesting. Also, Keanu Reeves' name's being chucked in there. The High Evolutionary is rumored to be in that movie, played by Mark Hamill. But if you actually do some digging, it just turns out that James Gunn lives around the corner from him in real life, and they're just going to have a tea and discuss the role. So it is looking likely that Thor will go up against Beta Ray Bill. There was so many people saying that Beta Ray Bill was going to appear in Avengers Endgame. And to be fair to that theory, there is a lot of Easter eggs already out there. He does appear in Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 1. He did appear in Thor 3 in an Easter egg format. But then again, so did Ares, so did Manthing, and so did By Beast. So that doesn't really say a lot, but it is interesting that the future of Thor is awesome because not only is there going to be Thor 4, there could be Thor 5, and there could also be him joining the Gardens of the Galaxy forever. As we know, the original plan was to do the trilogy, then all the story arcs would end. But as we know, Chris Hemsworth wants to take a year away from acting. So if there is going to be Thor 4, or if Chris Hemsworth is going to be involved in the Loki TV series that's going to be on Disney Plus streaming service, you can't really do a Loki show without Chris Hemsworth, Thor, appearing at some point. So Thor's future in the MCU, you should not be worried. Thor is literally the only character who is safe, in my opinion. Yes, we know Black Widow movie is filming, but Black Widow was killed. So she can only appear in multiverse concepts or in prequel concepts, and I really hope that we don't keep getting prequel concepts in phase four. At the moment, literally everything is a prequel concept. The Eternals prequel concept. Black Widow is a prequel to Infinity War. It's going to happen in between Civil War and Infinity War, with rumoredly the Taskmaster being the villain, but realistically there's no emotional strain for that movie because you know she can't die but she needs someone grounded like the taskmaster which would be very interesting shang chi is going to be set in the current day most likely then doctor strange 2 and also black panther 2 but realistically thor could not slip into either their dms having thor in doctor strange 2 i guess it would make sense because thor and doctor strange were in thor ragnarok so it would make sense but not really so I've been seeing things online, guys, and you don't have to worry about your boy Thor, about the strongest, most powerful Avenger. Yes, he was depowered, and yes, you could argue that Captain Marvel does have a stronger power level, but Thor took the full power of a dying star, and it didn't even touch... Okay, it did touch him, but he survived. He's a god, and he will have his godlike body back. They did a soft reboot of the character in Thor 3, then they retconned that version... In Infinity War and Endgame, then we're going to get, get a complete new character 
in Thor 4 and Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3. Thor is one of the few characters that make that will make it past a trilogy. Yes, Thor 2 absolutely sucked. It didn't suck like Iron Man 3 did, but it sucked. Generally, Marvel, you only get three movies, then you're out. But Thor is such a hot commodity appearing in the latest Men in Black movie. He's only going to get a bigger start, and he will appear in many Marvel properties going forward. So you should not be worried about Thor's future. He is going to be one of the best characters for many years to come. He's still fairly young if you compare him to Paul Rudd, who's in his 50s and he's getting Iron Man 3 and Iron Man Robert Downey Jr. Obviously, he's gone. Rest in peace. But he's in his 50s as well. Thor is so freaking young compared to them. So guys, do not worry about Thor. Thor is going to be one of the few original Avengers that will make it post-Endgame. Obviously, the Hulk also has one more contractual movie on his contract that does not include cameo roles so he will be in some variation hopefully one day they can retcon this smart hulk and turn it into world breaker hulk or at least give us professor hulk but as for black widow she's pretty much toasted unless they somehow bring her into a multiverse storyline we are only talking the original avengers hawkeye is pretty much irrelevant so as for the original Avengers, they're pretty much gone. And as we said in yesterday's video, they aren't going to be in a rush to make a new Iron Man or make a new Captain America, regardless of the Winter Soldier Disney streaming plus service. So guys, this is just a short ass video to tell you that Thor's future is bright in Marvel's cinematic universe. So don't worry. So anyway, guys, that's it for this video. Like always, please like, subscribe, and comment. That will be freaking awesome if we can get up to 100,000 subscribers this year. And I will catch you in the next video very soon. And we will be talking about the new Marvel Avengers game as soon as the info from E3 has appeared about that. We can't wait to talk about this on this channel. Anyway, guys, I will catch you in the next video very soon. Catch you later. Yes.